Sophie. Yeah, so Sophie asked me uh, why is eating donuts bad, and what is it about donuts that uh, uh, you know we get all excited about? Well, it's not about donuts in particular, but the fact that donuts uh, ha are what represents what's bad about food in, in the West nowadays. It's uh, calorie density, the magic of calorie density. In the 21st century or 20th century, what we've been able to do is condense a huge amount of calorie in small quantity, which the body does not recognize and, and circumvents a lot of the pathways that, that evolved with us, the size pathway, which means when there was too much food and the stomach stretched, that was one piece of information. The protein and sugar, that the amount that we got, a certain amount, it would give information back. There's other nerve receptors that go to the brain and tell the body that you got enough food. All those have been fooled by the, the, the food system that we have now. We, in this little donut. Yeah, we're talking about a donut. A donut. <laughs> now imagine you're a hunter. By the way, all those paleo stories, false. Paleo died and everything. If anybody has ever been a hunter, I challenge them to chase a rabbit and we'll see how many uh, rabbits they'll eat or meat for that matter. So um, let's say you're hungry and you're eating a whole bed of lettuce and, and vegetables and fruits. A whole table full would be no more than a few hundred, maybe a thousand calories. Well, in this little donut, this non-frill, not with all the you know uh, toppings and everything, it's anywhere between 500 to 700 calories and you still don't feel full. And the sugar actually makes you crave more because it actually fools the sudden rise in sugar and then sudden dip fools the system at the cellular level. So now you want more sugar, now you feel hungry, and yet you've already consumed one third of your daily allowance. So, and, and then the, with the sugar and the fats, the saturated fats, we'll talk about saturated, all this is so damaging and, and uh, it did no benefit. It didn't even fill you up because now you want a second donut. I, I know that I always had the second donut with the coffee. So that's the problem. Uh, and, and, that, and it creates a habit, it creates a pattern, and then it becomes part of your daily needs. So that's one of the reasons we think that it's, it's important to know what we're eating and what's in them and how they affect us and and long term how are they affected i love a saying uh, i just read something that everything that goes into your brain on, or what's made of your brain all started at the at the at the point of your at the tip of your uh, fork exactly. so um uh, i have to watch out because my wife keeps saying that i have to have two hands i know i so. get nervous <laughs> when you're not holding the steering wheel. yeah <laughs> I, I have a lot of gestures, but uh, that's why donuts are bad and that's why we have to know about all the other uh, foods that we, we eat and how much calorie density they have. Yes, yeah, so the a concept good thing of to know. calorie density and yeah. nutrient density is very important to understand. Yeah. There are a lot of things that have a lot of calories in them, yes. but you don't get enough nutrients and, um, and it also doesn't satiate you. Right, exactly. kids? Yeah. Right? I've yeah. heard that like 400 calories of sugar is um the size of like one ridge of your uh well, like one one finger of yours but but 400 calories of vegetables can fill your entire stomach exactly exactly nice. that's that's the that's the trick that's that's the that's it's just so important that you know that knowing that fact that the difference in calorie and size can completely change your perspective on food and give you control over it so that's a little fact about donuts well, you can have it once in a while, but uh, I think hopefully you'll ch think differently from now on. Yeah. Okay. That was a great question about donuts at our stop at the gas station. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys.